Hollow metal doors and frames are commonly used in non-residential buildings. Many metal doors and frames are made from steel, as steel provides durability, strength, and is relatively easy to work with while also being more affordable than other metals of comparable benefits. At first glance, one would think buying or selling doors would be simple. After all, doors are just an oversized rectangular metal box, right? Well, not exactly. To make it easier to learn about doors, Steelcraft uses a mnemonic device. That's a fancy way of saying memory trick to categorize steel doors. Remember the word fetch, F-E-T-C-H, and you'll become familiar with steel doors in a flash. The F in fetch stands for the face of the door, which is the surface of the door. When you think face, think gauge, as the gauge of the door is always a required piece of information when ordering or supplying steel doors. Gauge is a measure of the thickness of the steel. The lower the gauge, the thicker the steel. In a typical non-residential building, 18 gauge doors are the most common, as they are great for many interior openings and those exterior openings not likely to be vandalized or abused. 16 gauge doors are commonly used on exterior openings and interior openings that are subject to abuse. Think of a door from a high school locker room to a gymnasium. For interior openings not subject to a lot of use or abuse, 20 gauge doors are an option. By the way, typically the gauge of the frame is thicker than the gauge of the door. For example, for 16 gauge doors, use 14 gauge frames, but frames are for another day. The E in fetch stands for the side edges of the door. There are two questions to ask about the edges of a door. One, is the edge beveled or square? And two, is there a visible seam or is the door seamless? Beveled edges are more forgiving than square edges, as square edges require more clearance between the door and the frame. Steelcraft chooses to provide beveled edges on both the lock and hinge sides on most of its doors. As to the seams, all Steelcraft doors use a mechanical interlocking edge. Two panels are joined together by hooking one panel into the other. A bead of structural epoxy is also put in the door to ensure the seam does not separate. There are two methods to eliminate the visible seam on the edge, either filling with epoxy or welding. It should be noted that welding does not add strength to the edge of the door. The T in fetch stands for top. Think of top channel and bottom channel. Not all channels are created equal. Steelcraft uses an inverted 14 gauge channel on both top and bottom. This is a U-shaped channel that is 3 quarter inch deep and is welded to both skins of the door. It makes for a very strong channel, yet also makes it easier to grind in the field if the top of the door is rubbing the frame. If the door will be used on an exterior opening, a top cap is required to prevent water from getting into the door. The C in fetch stands for core, which is the guts of the door. Turns out, hollow metal doors aren't really hollow. Steelcraft's most popular core is the honeycomb. Honeycomb cores are strong and lightweight. Epoxy is used to attach the core to the door's skins, so there are no weld marks on the face of the door. In addition, honeycomb doors are less subject to thermal bow, a condition that causes a door to bow when one side of the door is subject to direct sunlight while the other side remains a moderate temperature. Bowing doors can cause latches and locks to bind. Steelcraft offers three other cores, polystyrene, which has insulated properties to keep cold weather out, polyurethane, which has even more insulating properties to keep extremely frigid weather out, and steel stiffened doors, which use 20 gauge stiffeners about every six inches with fiberglass in between the stiffeners. While some think steel stiffened doors are the strongest of the four cores we've described here, the construction of Steelcraft's honeycomb core doors makes the honeycomb doors the strongest. Finally, the H in fetch stands for hardware, as in hardware reinforcements. Hollow metal door manufacturers such as Steelcraft install metal reinforcement plates where most hardware will be installed. Hinge and lock reinforcements are the most common, but don't forget to order and supply doors that have been reinforced for closers, exit devices, and other operational hardware. Proper hardware reinforcements add to the performance and life expectancy of an opening. You're not a Steelcraft expert yet, but you're off to a good start. To watch more videos, visit our training page at www.allegion.com/us.